Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Acer Concept D Pro 3 laptop. Perfect for the creative types, this laptop supports you for all of your high performance projects out on the go. Its powerful graphics card and processor combo, coupled with a Pantone certified display, is designed to let you work on photo, video and 3D design software comfortably wherever your work takes you. Taking a look at the overall design, it's easy to see that you have a super high quality machine. The weighty body and solid ceramic housing just screams premium. It weighs around 1.7 kilograms, feeling a little heavier than some laptops I've tested, but in a way this makes it feel much more secure. It has this beautiful matte coating across every surface, making it soft to the touch and even giving a little bit of traction for a firm hold. There are only a few logos placed on the back and just below the screen, with the overall design largely reaching for that clean, white, minimal look. Though it does only come in one colour, an all white laptop could be seen as a little daunting, but even after handling it consistently over a few hours, it surprisingly stayed nice and clean thanks to that stain resistant coating. The display itself is the perfect size for general and creative use, measuring at 15.6 inches across. Though it has a slightly thicker bezel around the top and bottom, there's still plenty of space for project windows and watching the latest movies. Now Acer have put some thought into the design of the keyboard. It's full size, giving you everything you need alongside some of the additional function keys that let you fully control brightness, volume and even touchpad and microphone activation. I was pleased to see the inclusion of a backlight on this keyboard. Its orange hue adds a little touch of colour and character as well as shining through the keys themselves, highlighting the keys for improved visibility in all light conditions. It can also either be turned on or off just by tapping the F9 key. The keys themselves are incredibly soft, making barely any noise when typing. The touchpad has a frosted glass type design, resulting in the same soft touch as the body, leaving a brilliantly smooth surface for scrolling with no traction. You even get the same soft click as the keys on the left and right, making zero noise as well as being super responsive. It's also helpful to see that it's about 27% larger than your usual trackpad, leaving plenty of room for movement and having access for using both hands at once. Along the left and right edges, there's a decent amount of inputs and connections to keep your projects running smoothly. On the right, there's a 3.5mm headphone jack, a full SD card reader, two USB ports and an Ethernet. On the left, there's a Kensington lock, a power input, a full HDMI, USB Type-C Thunderbolt and a mini display port. Now I was surprised to find that there were two power buttons on this laptop, one on the keyboard and the other on the left edge. But the power on the side has a second purpose, doubling up as a fingerprint scanner. It only takes a few minutes to set up and once it's done it allows you to instantly log into your device with just one touch. It is a little hit and miss depending on how well you placed your finger in the setup, but overall it's a great addition for faster access. The main draw for me is the built-in SD card reader. It removes the need for a separate adapter and cuts out any unnecessary steps to getting my content directly from the camera to my workstation. Of course, you also get two indicator lights on the front edge for letting you know when it's on and if it's charging. Now getting into the display, you get an IPS LCD display with an LED backlight, as well as a 1920x1080 full HD resolution. I felt it was the perfect size for editing on Premiere Pro and left enough room to comfortably watch a YouTube video beside typing out documents. One of the highlights here has to be the 100% sRGB colour gamut, Delta E less than 2 colour accuracy and a full Pantone validated display. There's no doubt that the colours are pinpoint accurate, meaning not only do you get the perfect colour balance in your projects, you also get true to life output in your favourite shows and movies. Playing a few movie trailers on this display, I got a good demonstration on the quality available here. The detail was beautifully sharp, the colours vivid and bright, and most of all I got natural colouring in some of my favourite movies. The brightness was fine for the most part, though I did find I needed to keep it on full just to get the best view. The matte screen does an excellent job neutralising any glare on the screen, and the viewing angle was fantastic, delivering a full, clear picture even from a sharp angle. Opening up the lid, it has a strong hinge for holding the screen in place at the perfect angle. Thank Thanks to its weight, I can do this with one hand, making it really helpful when opening it up on my lap without needing to hold it down. Another plus is the ability to fully extend the screen all the way back, opening it up for further presentation possibilities in creative projects and removing the fear of overextending it. The overall shape and size is a little on the large side, measuring 250mm deep and 360mm wide. There's no smooth edge across the entire body, with every corner coming to a sharp point. It can make it a little awkward when holding under an arm, and might make it difficult trying to fit it in a regular backpack for transport. But the overall weight and size leaves plenty of room for hand placement and keeps it nice and firm on my lap when typing. 
a key element to any laptop this year has to be the inclusion of an inbuilt webcam and microphone. It's got a relatively decent camera quality with 720p resolution for a clear image during video calls with friends and work colleagues. And as you can see from this video clip here, the audio quality is very clear. And the video quality is just perfect enough for making office calls or keeping in touch with friends. One of the main issues with laptops is keeping the components cool enough for max performance. Now Acer have managed to build a fan system that does exactly what it says, utilising dual high efficiency fans and thermal cooling technology to keep the body cool and reduce overall noise. I hardly noticed the fans running at all, they maintained a low consistent speed even during video editing sessions and watching movies. I didn't even think about the temperature once because even after having it on for several hours playing trailers and having several programs running at once, the body was only slightly warm. It does help having the Concept D palette app to hand, letting me keep an eye on the stats and current temperature to make sure it's not running over capacity. Even though it's not the first feature you think of in a laptop, it's good to see in a high performance machine, knowing that it won't constantly overheat. Getting into the specifications on this laptop, you get a Windows 10 operating system with a free Windows 11 upgrade if you want to take the next step. It has a 10th gen i7 hexa-core processor with a 2.60 GHz speed. Coupled with a powerful Nvidia GeForce GTX 1650Ti GPU with a 16GB DDR4 RAM and 4GB dedicated VRAM. All of this is specifically designed to help power those high performance programs like 3D rendering software and the Adobe Suite. I had Premiere Pro running for an hour or so and found everything running very smooth. Of course, it may begin to falter the moment you start to open up multiple projects at once. But for your average workload, it worked like a breeze. It does have a standard 500 gig storage, which is fine for managing a few programs and personal data. But for creative projects, you'll most likely need more storage for project assets and bigger documents. When it comes to audio, it's important to get that rich, clean sound when using creative apps, and especially for watching the latest movies and shows. Internally, you get two inbuilt stereo speakers, so the quality was a lot better than I usually expect to receive. The volume was pretty impressive, easily filling the room completely no matter how far away I sat. I know it's hard to take my word for it, so here's a small sample of the audio output to give you an idea on the quality here. So as this laptop is designed to work effortlessly no matter where you need it, it's always important to consider the battery life. Internally, there's a 56 watt hour lithium ion battery. Acer suggests on regular light use that the battery life should last up to 14 hours on a single run. I started using it from full charge and watched a couple of movie trailers and edited on Premiere Pro for about an hour or two, all while keeping it on for over a 9 hour period. It seemed to keep going no matter what I threw at it. Of course, depending on what you're doing, excessive use will reduce the battery significantly significantly, so unless you're just working on a few documents and researching online, I would always keep the power pack to hand. The charger supplied has a very long cable and a slim light power brick, offering a max 135 watt power supply. As this laptop is built to withstand high performance creative apps, I thought to give it a go with a few games just to see how well it coped. Now I played Avengers and Splitgate through Steam, and with Avengers requiring pretty powerful specs to keep it going, it was great to see that it could at least run the game relatively smoothly. Gameplay was a little stuttery in place is, but it was genuinely playable overall, obviously with cutscenes running slightly better. Now it is only a 60Hz display so the refresh rate wasn't completely smooth, but for running battle royale games and simulation games like Sims 4, it's great to know that it can handle it if I want an extra purpose from my machine. So after using the Concept D3 Pro for a few hours, I can honestly say that this is a stand-up piece of kit. It has a powerful system to back up creative projects and even some games, which is good to know that it will support a whole variety of work and play. The size and weight feels much more substantial for long-term work, and the body feels sturdy enough to give me confidence in taking it out with me on my journey. The display works well in both light and dark environments, and the overall display quality is sharp, vivid and precise in everything I watch. It has all of the inputs I could need to support full device connection, and the addition of the SD card reader is a huge bonus when it comes to uploading my content. Overall, I can see this is a brilliant support for any creator out there, offering all the power I need to go wherever my work takes me. So what do you think about the Acer Concept D Pro 3? Let us know in the comments below, and if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to Box, where we have plenty of hands-on reviews on the latest tech. And as always, thanks for watching.